Marine life is no stranger to the waters offshore North Florida. A great diversity of fish and invertebrate growth are found at natural hardbottom reef areas, but surprisingly, some of the highest congregations of sea life are found at habitat sites that started with less than natural beginnings. Over the last several decades, it has become common to purposely sink structures to create habitat. The process is referred to as artificial reefing. These structures evolve into productive habitat, benefiting the environment and offshore enthusiasts. North Florida is home to a seemingly countless amount of artificial reef sites. Reef deployment started as far back as the 1960s and the amount and types of structures found offshore today is bewildering. This story is going to discuss the process of modern North Florida reef habitat creation projects, including the deployment of a metal ship and recycled concrete material. In 2009, a retired non-functional Coast Guard vessel, known as a Spike, was decided a good candidate to create marine habitat offshore Jacksonville, Florida. It was determined its metal structure would be ideal reef material, but prior to sinking the vessel, it would have to be prepared to an environmentally friendly state. This involved removing anything non-metal and environmentally non-friendly, which included items such as electrical components, insulation, and general debris. Even though our end game was to sink this vessel, we ironically had to make some repairs to ensure the vessel would stay afloat long enough to reach the intended sinking location. Once the spike was completely prepared, she was placed into the water and began her voyage offshore. Her destination was 28 miles offshore at a federally permitted reef zone known as Arms Ledge. Once on site, she was anchored in position, seacocks were open, and she slowly sank below the ocean surface. She landed upright on the ocean floor, 110 feet below. Now, sinking ships is not the only way to create habitat. Since 2009, four large-scale reefs have been created offshore the coast of Ponte Vedra Beach using entirely recycled concrete material. Prior to each one of these deployment projects, the sites selected to place the reef materials were surveyed by investigative divers to make sure the locations were suitable. The two big variables of consideration were confirming adequate depth and that no existing reef habitat was present in the vicinity. We had to make sure the reefs would meet navigational clearance requirements and we did not want to damage any natural reef habitats if any existed. For each project, nearly 1,000 tons of has-been concrete was accumulated. The recycled material included culvert pipes, foundation footers, and a variety of pre-used concrete structures. The materials were loaded onto a barge, one piece at a time, using heavy equipment. The loaded project barge would then be slowly transported to the predetermined reef location roughly 20 miles southeast of the Jacksonville Inlet and just 12 miles east from the nearest beach. Once arriving at the precise location, heavy concrete anchors would be dropped to secure the barge in position. The material would then be offloaded piece by piece into the ocean until the entire barge was cleared. After each one of these deployments, divers would descend 70 feet to the sea floor and survey the layout of the reef materials. These reefs were designed to lay within one half mile of each other in a diamond formation. This configuration makes these habitats conveniently accessible to the recreational boater. The most recent deployment, known as the John C. Leone Memorial Reef, included the placement of a life-size statue of Jesus at the beginning edge of the reef. It has been over five years since the vessel spike was intentionally scuttled. The sunken tender has completely transformed into an underwater oasis teeming with life. 
Nearly every inch of the structure is covered with encrusting organisms, and these very life forms are providing resources for great diversity of marine life. Before concrete reefs had been offshore for various periods of time, with the oldest having been deployed shortly after the spike in 2009. These piles of waste concrete have already evolved into marine life hotspots teeming with activity. Concrete material is somewhat similar in makeup to natural limestone, and in this region, exposed areas of limestone make up our natural reef systems. Habitat areas that have been created with concrete materials generally contain the same animals that are found on regional natural reef habitats. Taking a look at other artificial reefs in the region suggests that our newly placed structures will continue to evolve over time. These reefs will become more diverse in marine life with age. It is astonishing that thriving ecosystems can be created in this manner. Materials are placed in deemed appropriate areas and then Mother Nature takes over and creates luscious ecosystems. It is a win-win scenario where waste materials are utilized to create areas that not only benefit the environment but also create offshore recreational destinations. <laughs>